Hey everyone, it's James, and for my next trick, I'm going to make toilet smells disappear. That's the plan anyway. So if you saw our recent video where we went to Caravan Salon in Germany looking for cool products, I found one on that trip that I knew I instantly wanted, and it was this, the Twush. That's T-W-U-S-C-H. And... Okay, so here's the deal. Cassette toilets, they're made of plastic. The bowls are plastic. And over time, that plastic can get stained. It can have bacteria start growing in it. It can get etched with chemicals if you clean it. And then it can start to smell. Not so great. That smell isn't coming from the cassette contents. It's coming from the actual bowl of the toilet itself. So we have this product, and Trush, I think it's actually like German onomatopoeia, like, like whiz, bang, zip, but Trush, like flush in the toilet. Anyway, trouche. So when we got back to the States, I set out looking for one and I actually found someone in Canada, trouche.com, that will send them to you here in the States. So bonus for that, right? And I just ordered one paid full retail. They had no idea who I was. And we are now going to install it. We're going on a trip this week and we're going to test it. So installing it is not too hard. But the very first step for installing it is to clean your toilet. And I didn't figure you wanted to watch a video of a guy cleaning a toilet, so I already did that, you're welcome. But I do have a tip for you. If you're worried about cleaning your toilet and getting like harsh chemicals, you know, like bleach or something like that in the toilet and messing up the seals, take the cassette out, the, the seals are on the cassette, and then just put like a, a bucket underneath the hole where, where the toilet is, and then you can wash away to your heart's content, and that's sort of what I did. So that's step one. The next step, is we're going to insert this and we're going to make sure that the cassette can still go in and out and can still flush and open and close and that we're not going to create an obstruction and then uh, it's a final cleaning and install it but we're just going to drop this in and try the cassette now all right it's about the cleanest this toilet has ever been <laughs> here we go and it just drops down in there like that and it seems to work without the cassette in there this isn't hooked up to anything. So let me go stick the cassette back in and then we'll make sure we can uh, flush and all that sort of stuff. All right, here we go. All right, made no difference there. Let's go inside and make sure we can still flush. That seems to be working with no, uh, no ill effects or the, the liner is not budging. So I think we're good to go. Next, we're going to take it out and we're going to give everything a final wipe down with like some denatured alcohol or something. And then it's just drop it in and silicone it in place. The install is really easy. All right, now I'm just going to give the outside. It's really important to get these really clean because once you install them, they're going to be sort of sealed away and you won't have an opportunity again. So you don't want anything sealed in there that's not clean or anything that might get rancid or smelly over time. So cleaning the outside surface of this bowl, giving it a final wipe with denatured alcohol, and then I'm gonna do the same to the inside of the toilet. Okay, now all that is left to do is drop it in place and silicone around the edge so that water can't get underneath it. Now, I got a new tube of silicone because, you know, Every time I go to use a tube, it's dried up. But also, I know myself when I silicone things, and I tend to get overly aggressive with the, with the finger cleaning it up. And what you don't want is to create any place where you can pool water. And so to keep from pressing in too far with the, with the silicone, I've got some of these tongue depressor kind of things that I'm going to use to make my little bead of silicone around the, around the rim. So we're going to see how this works. Off we go. get it where we want it. That seems pretty good. Here we go. All right, well, I've got too much silicone in there, so let's try this, uh, this trick for scraping stuff of. Here we go.
that looks like it's pretty good. So now for the hardest part of this whole thing, and it's don't mess with it for 24 hours while the silicone sets up. And, uh, but when that's ready, we've got a porcelain toilet. So we just got back from about a week long camping trip in the RV. We went off to California and back and we used the new Twoosh toilet bowl liner the entire time. And I'm embarrassed to say I spent more time than I'd like to admit sticking my nose in the toilet bowl to see if we were getting any smells or anything. And we weren't. I mean, obviously, if you stick your nose far enough into a toilet bowl, you're going to smell something, right? But uh, I'd say it probably reduced 80% of any sort of off smelling that we were getting from the plastic bowl before. Also, things seemed to rinse off quite a bit easier. We weren't using as much water when we flushed, or at least I wasn't, to get things to go down and not leave remnants in the bowl. Anyway, so after that week-long test, I'm going to give the Touche toilet bowl liner two thumbs up or two nostrils up, maybe, I guess. And uh, we're going to put a link to Touche.com over on the Fit RV. There will be a, a link in the YouTube description down below in the video. Link over to the Fit RV. There will be a link there. Anyway, that'll do it for now. See you later. Bye.